God is real. When you come down with the virus and you go and they test you, they said, You got it. You don't move. Because if you have it, you need something to help you. So you're still standing there looking at them. You don't move. You got it. Okay. Nobody talking back to you. No. She so said, they said, you, you can go. Go where? Here. You said I have it. Where am I supposed to? What? No. no. We ain't giving you nothing. No. Go home. Go ride it out. Lord God. I never know the Corona turned donkey. <laughs> Go home. Go ride it out. So now, it's either a horse, a mule, or a donkey. So you drive to the hospital, or whatever means of transportation, and all of a sudden, you got a virus, and you must not go home. So once you enter, go back through the door, wherever you get tested, a donkey will be out there. Waiting for you to ride home. Go home and ride it out. Okay, so what? Drink water, liquid, tea. and tea, and just ride it out. And we will call you to find out how you're doing. So much for help. Am I talking right? I said so much for help. And you know something, saints? Both saints and sinners have to go home and lie in their bed and call God like they never called God before. No antibiotic, no medicine, but only Jesus. Can I get a witness here? And guess what? He came through and he delivered. Can I get a witness here? Don't tell me. My God is not real. Not an injection. Not a nothing. But God. But God. The good God. The real God. The almighty God. Deliver us. And after you are home and conditions start to get grave, then they have to run you now. Then wah wah come for you. Wah 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 wah. Wah wah. Pull you up. Run you in the emergency room. Everybody run coming. Coming in. Come with this. Come with that. Mama can't go in. Daddy can't go in. Nobody can go in. You all by yourself, only you and Jesus. Oh, God of mercy. Only you and God. Go, can I talk to your preacher today? Only you and God going in that place. All who love you have to stay back, not by choice, but by decision from the authority. And only you, an almighty God, go in that place. Can I get a witness here? They string you up. They do this. They do that. But all the way through the journey is God. And God alone, a real God, a good God, a loving God. God is real. He's real. He's real. We ain't going to give up on God. Because he's our sustainer. Our deliverer. Our lawgiver. Our mom and dad. Our everything. Oh hallelujah. We got Jesus. And that's enough. Because he's real. Oh hallelujah. And I've got news for some folks. You know, because our God does not evolve. No. He's not changing from one stage to another stage. Do you hear what I said? Oh, no. Uh-uh. He said, oh, pastor. But, but, but God, the God that you serve, he changes. Uh, listen. God does not change. In his person. He doesn't change in his person. 
He doesn't evolve. He came complete. Can I get a witness here? God ain't got no higher to go. He's already at the highest. Can I get a witness here? You didn't hear what I say. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. He is not advancing. He is not unrolling. He is not unraveling. He is complete. He is fixed. He is stable. He is full. Everything that he need to be God is already there. Can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And the song this morning, I know it was the blood. And the mother said, it's sanctified blood. She was describing that the blood don't need to be sanctified. It already come. Sa hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. hallelujah. That's the kind of God that we serve. Oh, uh, we evolve, you know. We evolve from one area to another area. Talk to me here, church. We change. And uh, folks say, well, God changed too. No, 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 but, but, but God does not change. L -l Listen to me here, church. He remains God. You, you, you see, uh, we have a problem. Because when we pray, we say God changes mind and God wants and God on this. And God always answers prayer, you know. It's three answers to prayer that comes from God. Yes, no, wait. We got a problem. Because we seem to confuse no with I don't believe it. How could he ever say no to me? I'm a child of God. Talk to me here. Come on now. And we have the nerves to be getting angry at God. I don't know what's wrong with us, you know. We're behaving like school children. Getting into fights that we can't win. Fighting bigger opponents than ourselves. Because we claim we have a bad temper. We're going to get beat up. I don't want to hear it. We say, when the answer is wait, we confuse it. I don't want to hear it. When it's no, we confuse it. I don't believe it. Because all we want is yes. And God always answers prior. It's a yes, it's a no. And he said, wait. We may not like the answer. But he's real. He's not changing for you. And he's not changing for me. When we think about the reality of God. Let's bring it down to ourselves individually. When we think about how reckless we are. Even in this crisis, some of us Doubt God to a place where we shouldn't have been. Because we were frightened. Am I talking right here? We were ignorant. We didn't know what was coming down the pipeline. We were confused. We don't know what to do. And we find ourselves in a place of doubt. God, are you still here? And because God knows we are flesh. And know that we are fickled. And that we vacillate and we change constantly. God just looked beyond our faults and saw that we have a need to really come to know him and the power of his resurrection. Can I get a witness here? And mercy rewrote our name. Can I get a witness here? Some of us name was removed, but mercy! Oh, can I get a witness here? Rewrote our name. Oh, hallelujah. And God said, you're still my child. Oh, glory to God. So your God doesn't evolve. He remained the same. Yesterday, today, and forevermore. He's not progressing. He's not moving to a higher state. He still remains God. Every time we call him, he answers. Can I get a witness here? 
Can I get a witness here? Every time we call him, he answers. The problem is we may not like the answer, but he answers. Our children don't like the answer sometimes too. We tell them no. And they get silent. And start to complain. You never do anything for me yet. You did everything for them, you know. But the case I know this time. Oh. And they start to huff. And they start to puff. And they're ready to blow the house down. If you quake, if you quake and give in, they will blow the house down. But you have to stand up. You have to stand up. Huh? And you have to say, you may huff and you may puff. But I promise you, I guarantee this house ain't coming down by your breath, by your wind, by your blow. Can I get a witness here? But if you're back up and back in, they will huff and they will puff. They will certainly not blow the house down. They will blow you down and take over the house. Oh, hallelujah. God is not like that. He hears, he answers, and whether you like the answers or I like the answers, it really doesn't matter. What we're asking for is an answer. And when we ask for an answer, God said, I will bring you an answer. Can I get a witness in the house? I'm going to bring you an answer. And when you get the answer, give me glory, give me honor, and give me praise. Church, God is real. Let's stay with the real God now. Let's stop hide. In the beginning, God said, let there be light. And there was light. Think of how dark our life was. God came, shine a light, and deliverance, and victory came. What made God so special to us as the body of Christ? He's the only God that responds to us in the way that he does. Can I get a witness here? The Bible said he's a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. I was looking up for, for, for false God. And they said they have 8,700. Just, just it's a, a number. And 47 false gods. Out there. And it's far more than that. But they say that's the amount that's out there. False gods. Gods that cannot move. But yet people pray to them every single day. Gods that cannot heal, but yet, folks look to them for their deliverance. And even science now is a God. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. Because if you tell somebody, a, a scientist, about the miraculous power of Almighty God, unless he or she is converted, they say, I don't want to hear it. Science is, is the key. The Bible student said he went to Princeton University and he was studying and he was a Muslim, Muslim. And he says, when he came across the Bible, the New Testament, John, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, he started got to get him a little confused. And he began to realize, that, hey, this thing is real. What, this is Jesus and what? I never heard of this before. And he went to his professors. He said, I went to two professors of the New Testament. I felt good going to them because they weren't a Christian. So I know that they will not steer me wrong. I know they will tell me that this Jesus is not for real. He said, when I sat down with them and I started to quote John and said, what about this and all this stuff? He said... They look at him and they told him, we are not interested. We have no desire to discuss miracle with you, miracles with you. If you want to talk about historical context, we are ready. But if you're talking about miracles and God and Jesus, we have no interest. We never thought of it. Can I get a witness here? And the young man said he walked out uh, knowing that Jesus Christ uh, is real. Oh, uh, hallelujah. Oh, uh, hallelujah. Oh, uh, history 
is their God. And, uh, science is their God. And, uh, their money is their God. And, uh, I could go on and on and on. But we serve the true uh, and living God. Uh, the one that woke us up this morning. Uh, that started us out of our way. Uh, that said, let there be light. Uh, and there was uh, light. Can I get a witness in the house? These false God never cease to exist. They're all over in the Bible. Can I get a witness here? Oh, hallelujah. The Canaanite of their own God. Ashtarash. Hope I'm pronouncing the name right. Oh, hallelujah. This God that they serve. This God, hallelujah, that they believe can do great and mighty things. Yet they're the one that have to move that God. They're the one that have to dust that God down. To make sure that God is in the right place. Can I get a witness here? They are the one that have to make sure that rain doesn't wet that God. But yet they look to that God with everything that they have. Oh God. Oh God. You know why? You know why that is? Because that God has everything in himself. That God is selfish. He doesn't share. He kept everything for himself or herself. So there is nothing in their worshiper that can satisfy their worshiper. When the worshiper needs something or attention or whatever, they have to go straight in the presence of that God. But for the born again Christian, God, God imparted himself in us. Through the power of the Holy Spirit. Ay, 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 ay. So I don't have to see him to talk to him. Talk to me. I don't have to be in the tabernacle to give him glory. Can I get him? Ay, 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 ay. I don't even have to have my Bible to speak about him. Because he lives within my heart. <laughs> Anywhere I am, I have a connection because he is in me. Oh, glory to God. As a matter of fact, my body becomes a temple of the living God. Oh, hallelujah. In him I live. In him I move. In him I have my being. Glory to God. Come on and tell the Lord thank you. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. That's the kind of God. That we serve. And the Canaanites. They worship this God. They were so terrible. With this God. That the man of God. Decided. That we need to prove. Who is God. Can I get a witness here. We need to prove. Who is the true and living God. Because you're talking about this God. I want to prove. Who is God. I want to show who is God. Let's go to Mount Carmel. Let's build an altar. Can I get a witness here? Let's talk to our God. Because at some point in time, church, we have to prove our God. Find that in Kings for me. Hallelujah. Elijah and Carmel. At some point in time, Christians have to get to a place where you prove your God. And let me repeat myself. I'm keep, I keep repeating myself because I don't want folks to get away with the wrong message. And I, 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 I'm talk, I use the virus as an, as an example here. Because church, this is a, a virus. And we're not making light of it. I'm telling you, it's devastating. It's dangerous. But church, worse than this is yet to come. According to the Bible. I'm talking about the Bible now. Please, I'm in the Bible. According to the Bible, worse, and this is yet to come. A lot of Christians have lost their salvation. Or better yet, they put it down someplace and walk away and leave it. They know exactly where they leave it. They can get up and go back and go pick it up. It's not lost. You just rest it someplace. Because when you lost your faith... When doubt comes in, you abandon your faith. 
And by abandoning your faith, you have nothing to hang on to. You have no ship to sail in. You have nothing to go on to. So you know exactly where you abandoned your faith. Don't let nobody fool you. Everybody will backslide. Know exactly where they backslide. Don't let them come before you for counsel and confuse everybody. Confuse. A pastor don't want me. Lie. When I talked to Brother McKenzie and Brother Br McGregor some things, are you talking to me? And I said, but so and so, he said, Pastor, lie that come. Lie that come. Don't believe that. <laughs> they know exactly. <laughs> they know exactly where they leave the stories. Where they leave the salvation. No, they're not stealing from them. They put it down. If you never know where you left it, you could not come back to God. No. True. Oh, God. <laughs> True. Hallelujah. The prodigal boy knew exactly where he placed it. <laughs> and when he came to himself, he said, wait a minute here. <laughs> hey, hey. Ay, 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 ay. Let me go back. Can I get a witness here? Let me pick up my stuff. I will arise and go back to my daddy. <laughs> Glory to God. So we know exactly where we left it. So don't fool yourself. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Do you have the word? Yes. We've got to, we have got to get a place of approval of God. Because this is just one thing. But many other things according to the book, the Bible, the word of God that we Christians believe is coming down the pipeline. And the reason why we have to trust our God that is real, because the Bible says it will get to a place where men's hearts is going to fail them for fear. They'll be running to the rock and say to the rock, hide us. Oh, can I get a witness here? Fall on us and kill us. Hide us from the face of him that seated upon the throne. The seller won't be happy and the buyer can't bother cry. Can I get a witness in the house? Can I get, uh, come on church. The marketplace will be empty. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. 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 The builder's tools will be silent. Can I get a witness here? No more time to harvest reap. Hallelujah. Busy housewives will cease their labors in the courtroom. No debate. Work and art will all be suspended as the king comes through the gate. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to prove our God. We got to prove our God. So many Christians. So many Christians. Fall away. Fall away. Lord, Christian, pastors, preachers, fall away. Lord God, have mercy on this land. Good God Almighty. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, glory to God. Gone, 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 gone. Hila Bakushan. Even though I have a new vision, a new revelation, we don't need no tabernacle no more. We don't need no sanctuary no more. All we need, hey, Labakasa, all we need is the internet now and the app and the whatever. And this is all we need. And you can tune in and you can zoom in and you can zoom out and you can app in and you can app out. But somebody control the zoom, somebody control the app, somebody control the internet, somebody control everything. Oh, come on, help me, your church. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And when you bother the devil, when you upset the devil, he take revenge. When you provoke the devil, he come at you. When you're not on his side, you are his enemy. Can I get a witness here? Can I get a witness here? When you're not on the devil's side, you are the devil's enemy. Can I get a witness here? And you will attack his enemies. Uh, he look good. He smell good. He even taste good. Technological breakthrough. 
advancement. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, the 21st century, we're moving on. My God, my God, my God. Oh, hallelujah. When we think it's peace and safety, it's sudden destruction. Can I get a witness here? Can I get a witness here? Dr. Franklin Graham. Oh, hallelujah. Son of the late Billy Graham. Glory to God. 17,000 individuals signed the petition to remove him from the head of the Billy Graham Association and from the head of Samaritan Purse. All because they deem what he... Oh, can I get a witness here? We are living in high time. We are living in serious time. We are living in peril perilous time in the last days perilous time shall come men shall be lovers of themselves oh hallelujah more than lovers of God but God is still real 